Welcome back. I wanted to tell you right now about the third um, skill that you might want to practice or might you want to get you know very good at uh, for life and especially for hard times. And um, before I continue, I wanted to remind you that down below is my email in case that you want to help me out by sending an Amazon gift card. So thank you very much. I really appreciate that one. So here we go. Now that you know how to trust your instincts or your learning, now that you kind of can develop, you know, um, finding common ground as in empathy or whatever, and you know, you can avoid conflict by just focusing on that and all of that. Now comes the third part of that set, which is comes communicational skills. Yes. See, right now, in easy times, peace times, we still have problems with a lot of people because of communication. Either because somebody said something that they were not supposed to say, or because the timing was quite bad, or because they said it, but they said it in a tone that it wasn't the appropriate one, and then the message was messed up because of that. Or it's just because we were not listening or because it was incomplete and now you have to make up information that you don't have. So you're going to make mistakes and it's all messed up. So, so how do you get better at communication? You know, um, number one, I do recommend that you buy books about how to communicate with other people how you can tell if somebody is lying or somebody is uh, messing up with you because of the communication scams that they are going around everywhere and all of these things so i do recommend that you buy you know several books and read them actually don't leave them on the shelf because this is quite important i mean come on you you, you know there are so many people that could have been avoiding you know divorces and lawsuits and so many freaking things that could have been just avoided if people were able to communicate properly but again this is just very hard to do because some people might have logic on their communication and some people might have emotion in their communication and some people might have a mix of both and it's kind of messed up because it's very difficult to find a middle ground when you're communicating with people because um, we are not being taught, you know, the right things. So number one, you know, by the books. Number two is really find your daily and frequent words. Especially there is one that I want you to change. And it is the word want. Yes, I know. You see, you see want means that you don't have i mean come on if you already have money then why would you want money if you already have it see want is something that we use daily and this is reason why we are poor why we have problems with everybody why we don't get our message across the universe why we are you know so messed up is because people think that when you say, hey, I want something, then, you know, it's kind of like that is what you're attracting. There's something that you're asking. Oh, hell no. You are attracting more lack of it because the verb in your sentence is the word lack. We'll see. So I'm going to explain this. And so let me ask you this. So let's say that you are in an emergency and during your emergency, all you can say is, I want to leave, I want to leave, I want to leave. You know what you're sending the message to, to your brain is, I want to leave. And that means that you're dead. So your message to your brain is, I am dead. So if you're saying to your brain, I am dead, what do you think that your brain is actually going to do? Your brain is going to freeze so that you can die because you want to live. You know what I mean? So change that particular word. The only place that you can use this word with no problem is when you want action. So for example, I want you to do something. Oh, hell yeah. Because that something is not done. See, that is why you want that word is because of action. When you want action, that especially with other people that is when you use this word 
because it means that you are lacking. For example, I want some help means you are lacking the help that you need. I want you to do this. That means that this is not done. I want this to be, you know, done properly like that or whatever. That means that this is not done properly like that or whatever. So that word has to come up with a verb this way. If it's not with a verb or an action thing here, then this is going to be the verb. And if this is the verb, you are so screwed daily. And this is because nobody tells you this in school. This should be taught to children so that we don't grow up and mess up our adult's life because we are screwing things up. So stop it. And by the way, when you buy books, buy a dictionary, a good dictionary. You are like, yeah, I have the internet, I have Wikipedia, I have whatever. And I'm like, right, because you are always going to have internet. You are always going to have your phone. You are always going to put to depend, you know, with money because some services will send you the words that the, the dictionary will, will you know, provide. And... um yeah, they will charge you. Even if it is one cent, they will charge you. And, and, and by the way, when I do mean a dictionary, I'm going to tell you something very, very, very important. Try to buy a dictionary that it is the year 2000 or before that. And you're like, what? Why does it have to be that old? I mean, we're in 220. Here is why. Because I'm sorry, I am a teacher and I am telling you that I am so, 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 so sorry about, you know, these screw up things. <sighs> the people that make the dictionaries are not lexi lexicographs people. I mean, these are people that just go in online or whatever and then they just print it. They just print words. They have no idea where that word comes from or what does it mean. So, for example, oh, by the way, they are making this on purpose so that you become you become more stupid. And you're like, what? It's a dictionary. No, 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 no. Hell no. Try to find a dictionary, and I'm going to prove this to you. Look at the word inflation, okay? Look it up. Inflation. You're like, yeah, that word means higher prices no it doesn't no it doesn't because of inflation you have higher higher prices but actually inflation means that there is excess liquidity on a particular market and you're like what the hell is that well that is why i'm telling you to get a good dictionary because you know People are being taught the, the different, you know, um, different definitions for the words that are not correct. And this is because, like I said, you know, I'm going to give it, give me a minute. Yeah, that's the word. Lexicographer. Well, I'm guessing that I'm pronouncing it correctly. See, these are the people that are supposed to be making dictionaries, not just somebody that knows how to read and write. I mean, it's just, what the hell? That's not it. You have to look for someone that actually has this degree and actually is specialized in words. Because otherwise, all you're going to get is information that is not, you know, proper or that is not, you know, with the right origin or it's just messed up. So you want to have these you know, very, very, very important. Have a dictionary that is done properly by proper people. It's like you putting a five-year-old in charge of a bank. What the hell? You know, kind of like that. So, you know, you know I mean, that five-year-old might just come up with, yeah, there is inflation, we have money, we have, you know, bills, we have coins. And I'm like, what the hell? You know, you want someone who actually knows what they're doing. So pick someone, you know, who has that thing. And by the way, this is the third part of communication and this is also a skill and I swear to God, this is skill I have known for at least three years and quite frankly, in a scale from one to 10, I'm probably number three from 10 being perfect and one being like 
extremely horrible not knowing about it oh hell is this one redefined your thinking for communication for doing things and everything and it is just about this point activity versus goal and objective they are not the freaking same at every single time that somebody is messing up in communication is because they are confusing the activity with the goal and they are not the same or they are confusing you know the goals with the objective which might be general or specific or whatever so you might want to also like i said take a small class or whatever and just do this one because i swear to god if 10 maybe 20 percent of the people actually perfected this skill i swear half of the problems in the world will have been like gone because it's just insane this is a this is like the most stupid mistake that every single human every time we do this it is so freaking hard it is like okay so let's say that you say hey i want to go and do exercise and then you're like right so you don't feel like going to do exercise and you just don't do it this is part of the motivation you you, you are confusing you think that because of exercise you're going to get a healthy lifestyle or whatever and then that's not it when you don't exercise you see exercises is just an activity for your body to maintain certain things it is not just for your health and if you put it in the other way like i said the objective the objective is to have a healthy body then you will associate the activity of exercising with the same thing as you not brushing your teeth you may not like brushing your teeth daily but if you do, don't do that then what happens yeah your teeth rots road road that your teeth get bad and they might even come off so the same happened with your muscles so if you define your objective as in, I want to keep my teeth clean, I want to keep my muscles clean, then you will change this thing. See what I mean? And there are so many freaking things that we confuse activities and goals. It's just insane. I swear, the other day, I mean, I, I just did that this morning. I mean, my mother said, hey, look for an envelope. And I was like, okay, the envelopes are, you know, in this folder thing. And then I found, and then I, I said, uh, it is in this drawer. So I spent, I swear to God, I spent about half an hour looking in the freaking drawer because I'm looking for a specific package that contains the envelopes. And then I, I was focusing on, okay, I need to get to the freaking drawer and the freaking envelope. That is the activity. But here's the deal. The objective was to get the freaking envelope. And guess what? We have envelopes that we have them just right there in, in the kitchen drawer, which is easier. And it would have taken me two seconds to get those ones. And instead, I spent half an hour looking through that stupid drawer because I'm looking for that thing instead of looking for the envelope. So how many times do you do this daily? And you don't even realize it. Because you're looking for something or you're doing something because you're going to, you are thinking, okay, your brain goes like this. I am going to do this. Yeah. But then you forget, why are you doing this? Well, because, you know, it's kind of like, I want to go to the other side of that door. Yeah, but you could have gotten, you know, if you can't open the freaking door, you could have gotten through the window. And then you're like, oh no, and, and then you're stuck. I swear, you might be stuck hours, days, months trying to go through the freaking door instead of just opening the window and, you know, going through the window. Which would have taken you, what, seconds? So, it is about, you know, because every time that you, you go from A to Z, like I've told you before, there are hundreds of ways to get to Rome. But once you pick one, then... It's like you forget that you're supposed to get to Rome. You're not supposed to stick to this road. You can just go back and find another one. So that's what you're supposed to be doing. So again, how many times we have done this and how much money does it cost you? Worse, and I swear, worse than money. How much 
time does it cost you? And not only how much time does this cost you, how many relationships have these cost you? And I do mean relationships. Because when you, when you focus on activities, you forget about the goals. And guess what? This includes communicational skill, which includes relationship with other people. So basically, you're kind of a screwed. So I will recommend that you write down how many times or, you know, the days in which you have confused activity and goals. And so that you can figure out where you're screwing up so that you can change it because each brain works differently so you need to realize where is your problem so that you can know that there is a problem and you want to change it through patterns through behavior to whatever the hell you want but try to do this one and the last one is just practice breathing okay this is very important you need to practice breathing sorry about that so anyway you need to practice breathing and this is why because every time that you are angry and every time that you are trying to say something if you're angry or you are you know confused about something you might come across you know with the wrong message even though you are saying it right and also because when somebody is saying something to you that might be hurtful like i don't know let's say that they are saying hey you are lying and then you know that you're saying the truth so what you do is you take a deep breath and then you're like, okay. So you ask, what makes you think I am lying? Because it might have been that you say something to this person and this person misunderstood it entirely. And that is why they think that you're lying. Or maybe it is because you said something that actually wasn't happening because you said it incomplete or, you know, whatever. So practice breathing a lot and i do mean a lot so after you practice breathing a lot try to practice more because quite frankly this is you know one of those things that you will probably never ever 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 stop having to do especially because when you want to be in a relationship with somebody like friends spouses kids whatever Oh crap, you know, you are always, always, always going to have some sort of misunderstanding at all times. It doesn't matter if the person loves you and it has nothing to do with you loving the person or trust or whatever. It has to do with the fact that we don't know how to communicate with other people. And we don't know how to communicate with other people because this is not being taught to kids. And if you do not taught, you know, if you do not teach this to kids, since they are little like for example how many times have you met an adult that doesn't know how to say no or an adult that doesn't know how to say yes or an adult that is just kind of like ambiguous and it, and and she or he doesn't ever you know come up with his or her own opinion because she or he might be afraid of something or is not the right thing to say i mean come on so you need to practice breathing because it is the key for you to respect other people. See, if other people cannot tell you what they think, honestly, like honestly, you know, because if they're saying yes, just to please you, but they're actually thinking no, then you are going to be screwed. Not them, you, you. So you need honesty from other people and if you need honesty for other people that means respecting them and that means that you need to breathe because every time that someone disagrees with someone else there is going to be some sort of conflict there so how do you manage conflict guess what i have told you before find middle ground and then communicate properly again find proper books find proper dictionary and stuff like that this is not easy and if you are very 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 good at communication oh hell you should open a course for all kinds of adults especially the ones that do not know how to say no because if you don't know how to say no then you're going to be overwhelmed and you're not going to be in, in charge of your freaking life but somebody else will and then you're going to be exhausted and a lot of problems so just try to practice breathing and you know Try to practice 
you know, this thing about respect and all of these things. So buy books and may the best luck, you know, happen to you. So thank you for watching.